In this video, we'll be making an auto updater using UAUPJS. This is the application that we will be updating. You see it says version 0.0.1 in the middle. So first, we'll open up our terminal and navigate to our workspace that we will be creating. And we'll just create a folder for our workspace. And it'll be called UAUP-TestUpdater. And now we'll change our directory to the workspace. And now we will just initialize our node package manager by typing in npm init tack y and now we'll open up vs code by typing in code dot and inside our package.json we will create our start script and have it run electron dot and now we'll create our electron uh, electron start window with the index.js here i'm just copying and pasting a pre-made script. Um, this is not a electron app, uh, electron tutorial necessarily, just for UAUP. And I'm giving it a height and width um, of 200 and 600 respectively. And naming the window update. And now we'll create a folder called SRC. And inside of that, we will create our HTML, JavaScript, and CSS folders. And inside our HTML, we'll create our index.html. All of the source code for this project will be on my GitHub. Link will be in the description. And here's our basic index.html and our app.css. And now we will create our update.js file. This is where we will be performing all of our up. And in the updater.js, we will put a variable importing the UAUPJS file. We'll create a object for the default stages. You can find this again in the GitHub repository. And of course, this is optional. And then here are the update options. These are all the possible options, but we only need the ones that are tagged required. All others do not need to be here. And as you can see, the stage titles is set to the default stages. And now we are selecting our progress bar by getting document.getID and grabbing the ID of our progress bar and the ID of our label. And we'll do the same for our label. And here I'm just realizing that I had named my CSS file incorrectly. In my HTML, I have app.css, and in the file, I had main.css. I am correcting and running the application. 
and this is currently how the app will look. And now I'm just removing my test variables and filling in the GitHub repository information. As you can see, I've already created a test GitHub repository and I am filling in the information for said repository here. And then we are creating the app name, which also has to be the archive name as well. And as you can see, we have our test app here and we are setting the app executable name to the same name as our test app. And now we will just archive the app using WinRAR. Uh, you can use any uh, archiver that you would wish, including Windows uh, Archiver. And as I just did, I set the app name or the archive name to test-app, which is our app name. And here we are calling the update function from UAUP. And that takes in the update options as a parameter. And in the test repo, you can see I've already created an update. And now we will just run the updater. And as you can see, it has found an update, it's downloading it, and it will install it to the app data folder. And there is our application from GitHub, version 001. And now we will create an update. And this is the new version as you can see it's version 2. And now we will just place this new version into the archive. And now all we'll do is create a new release on GitHub. Set a title and a description. The tag version will be the application version. And now we'll upload our app. And once your app is uploaded, click finish. And now you have successfully created an update. And now we will start our updater application. And it has found an update. And as you can see, it has successfully updated our application to version 2. For more information, you can go to the NPM site for UAUPJS. I will leave a link in the description. It goes over everything that we discussed today in a written format. You can also check out the source code at the UAUPJS GitHub repository. 
If you've enjoyed this video and would like to see more videos like it, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help. Thank you.